How's it going? Thanks for joining me. Picking up where we left off in the previous two videos, how to communicate with God, and also everything points to flat earth. We'll get into that in a second. Just bear with me because I have a lot of important in information I'm going to show you here. So you see the biophotons of your mother and the biophotons of your father come together to trap you here on the gridiron. You're brought to life by way of the sun. And now that you're here, well, it was the sun above your head that made your flesh, your bones, and your blood. And now that you're here, you grow up and you want to make something happen in reality. That's the black sun. That was what they kept from you. The black sun is what's bringing your intent into fruition. So you hear the word black sun and you immediately go into like a freak mode. You start saying satanic and shit like that. Listen, every word you speak is a magic spell. You went to school to learn your book of the dead. You took your test with your number two shit pencil. Um, you know, you, you're a witch. You set up your witch hat every year to Christmas tree. Your spear of destiny that pierces the side of Jesus Christ who's on his cross, which is the sun. And you take communion and you're the black sun yourself. You close your eyes and make a wish. Blow out the sun above your head and focus your intent onto the black sun. That's a double cross. One cross up. You're hashtag this, hashtag that. You're, you put on a black robe at graduation with a hat that says you're bent and confused. And what I'm telling you is you know nothing of truth. And nobody can tell you any truth because everybody you know is fucking retarded. And hopefully we can set you straight here. You hear Ice Cube and all this shit. You see Popeye with the anchors on his arms. Okay. The black sun is anchored into a cube. So the Ice Cube, okay... It's one sun. One side of a light holds a black hole. All right? So the caduceus, the deuce, like in two, it's the bi-ball, two balls. You, you pin the tail on the dawn key. Dawn the father was in heaven, so hell beneath your feet. You need to go into the hole, the asshole. X marks the spot at the center of the dish. You see the pole heiress. The green astrolite comes out of that hole and showers down on us. It's... This shit is literally rubbed in our face. So, all the letters, all the numbers are right there in the sine wave. You sign on the X. And X is wrong answer. X is a puckered asshole. All the letters, all the numbers are right here in the sine wave. So, when you say the Saturn symbol right there is something that's evil, okay, it's set up like that so that you can't co-create. Because... Now that you're here, anything that you want to create is coming through the black sun. Okay? It's the conscious and the subconscious. And it's the same story over and over again. One side of a light hole is a black hole. The checkerboard. So when I see the clock, I see the sine wave. It's the conscious and the subconscious. It's like a checkerboard. When I see magic squares... I see the checkerboard. If you shade in the odd numbers on magic squares, you'll see images appear. Take a look. All right. This other magic square over here, you'll see two crosses, one cross up, one cross down. All I did was shade in the odd numbers, and you see the U, U. You cross, you cross. Your cross was originally a cube. When they went from the uh, flat earth plane to a globe, they unfolded the cube into a cross, which is the four sides of a box. Then the one that you place on your head when you graduate from school that locks you in the box and keeps you frozen, like pole ice, frozen in your pole, in your head. And you can't see what's hiding in plain sight. I'm telling you that you're living on the checkerboard right now, the chessboard. But there's a hole at the center of the dish. You played pin the tail on the dawn key, dawn the father who is in heaven. All right. When you hear the two ball cane, the 700 club. Okay. You see Enoch in reverse. Is, it's, it's clear, people. Okay, that since vowels are interchangeable, you know, you have the by ball, you cast your ball it, 
it's the ball with the two A's because it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. Okay, your vowels, it's A, E, I, U, and sometimes Y. And then there's another hidden vowel, it's W. What the fuck is the chance of that, people? That it was the W, right? A, E, I, O, U, and then also the double U. So that makes sense that they hid this type of shit from us. Because it's telling you right there. We know that if we go backwards with our vowel, from, it's T-U-V. The O represents the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. X marks the spot. Pin the tail on the Don key like Don the Father who is in heaven. Okay? The Holy Grail is right over there. There's absolutely no way to fuck this up. When I see uh, Shiva in the upside down pair, now we know that this symbol is supposed to be upside down. This represents the black sun that's bringing all your intent into fruition. They hide the truth in plain sight. So, we're inside the cube, in the center of the triangle, inside of the circle. This is the entire universe right there, people. Look it up. That's what it is. Alright? And you place your wedding ringer. Wedding, your wedding ringer is your limp finger, not your fuck you finger. It's telling you that you need to get to the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish before you're dead and uh, I know this is crazy I know you don't want to believe it it's like how the fuck could this be possible well go watch that guy do that uh, that video Solomon's lost magic he said he did the video because somebody was teaching the wrong types of ways to use the 72 spirits trapped in there well it turns out those 72 spirits were charged with teaching you the arts and sciences did you hear what I said those 72 that they call demons are charged with giving you the arts and the sciences. So, now you know why they've demonized everything. Okay? This right here, you open up the brass box, and this is what I saw, the image. I see the eye at the bottom right over there. So, what I'm seeing here is the masculine, and you see the, it had the symbol on there, X marks the spot, it had the, the pin the tail on the donkey symbol over there. What I'm seeing is this phallus. It's that, it's this same story over and over and over again. We're inside that crystal ball, okay? And the symbols, people don't even know what the symbols are. When they see them, they, they're they using them, but they these are people that are using them, uh, and they still think they're on a globe, okay? Floating through space as an accident. This place is fixed. You're inside of Pandora's box right now. And it's anchored down. The black sun. Okay. It has to be fixed so that the green astral jet can come shooting out. Hit the parabolic mirror and shower down on us. So when you see that no force on flat earth. That's exactly. Uh, you know. It's true. There was a highway of information that flowed through this place. And it glowed. The Aurora Borealis would have shot through the veins all the way across the earth. And that's all gone now. There's a Holy of Holies there now. And we need to get there before we're dead to get our everlasting life. That's where we drink from the living waters. This is what I see. Everything's upside down. Okay? We need to get to this Holy Hole before we're dead. So, something that we were talking about in the previous video was relaxation. I think that you should make yourself magic squares like this. Make sure they have triple border. One, two, three. You're capturing the essence of these numbers, their vibration, bringing it into the number symbol, which is one cross up, one cross down. Just like you walk into a church, you kneel down, and you make an upside down cross on your fucking head. You go from your head to your chest, left to right. That's an upside down cross. You kneel down to the feminine and then you walk in, you have stained glass windows blocking out the sun above your head and focusing your intent onto the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish, focus your intent onto the black sun. It's clear. You blow out the candle. That's like the sun above your head. And you focus your intent onto the black sun. So the black sun would be like the subconscious. Okay? And I'm telling you, the numbers don't lie. What you can do is stare at one of these for five minutes a day until you remember the pattern. And so that you could 
you could do it from memory. And that's what's going to bring it into reality. Uh, it's that you need a triple border around it because you're capturing it and bringing it into reality. So like sigil stuff, I've seen people uh, making videos on like sigil magic, but uh, you can see that the people making those videos are fucking retarded because you're supposed to have a sigil that's mirrored like this, which is where you write out, they tell you to uh, cut out all the vowels. So you write out something like something uh, like I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and usher in heaven on earth. What they tell you to do is cross out any duplicate letters and also uh, remove any vowels. A E I O U. Vow to L. The Father in heaven. Everybody's got it in their name, like Daniel. Everybody's name is named after the Father in heaven, the L. Okay? Like the L even. So here, they tell you to keep the vowels out. And I'm showing you that you can keep the vowels in. Uh, you don't have to have any duplicate vowels, but you're using letters one time in black, mirrored in red, and then triple bordered. And what you do is you make one of these for someone else. You don't make them for yourself. Of course you could, but it's like the division symbol. One side of a light hole is a black hole. You need to make it up and down. You're a stand-up guy, right? Okay, you're a stand-up type of guy. So the green astral light comes shooting out of the hole, hits the parrot. This is the infinite potential. Okay. The king's most powerful magic was he wrote stuff down, bringing it from the imaginary into the this realm by writing it onto papyrus or chiseling it into stone. This was the king's most powerful magic. The key is to bring it from the imaginary and into the physical realm.